Merry Christmas! What are we going to make today, Alex? Today we are going to make pierogies, which are Polish, which are a type of Polish-based ravioli. What are the ingredients in pierogies? So can you tell us? What are, first, we're going to start with the pasta dough. And this is the ingredients for the pasta dough, right? Vegetable oil, flour, eggs. All right, well, we'll be back then to show you how we put that together, right, Alex? Uh -huh. And what are we gonna make now? The pasta dough, right? Uh -huh. And Aunt Danny is gonna be assisting. Hello. First, we do one cup of flour. Why don't you measure one? Oh we need God, one cup of flour, flour, one tablespoon of oil, <laughs> and Alex is gonna put in the tablespoon of oil. Seriously, I'm not gonna be very much of How about Aunt Danny? Do you want me to help you pour that in there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, that we have, is a cup of flour. We haven't even gone through a bag yet, but, well, we might have gone through, but it seems like we've Oh my gosh. Dumping in, so. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're just using Did this. Did you already dump the oil in? Yep, Alex okay. already did the oil. Okay. okay. Through processing, you Fire basically one. run this until it starts coming together as a ball. Yeah, again. Okay, so now we're going to stop it and we're going to take it out and put it into a ball. All right, Sophie's got the dough out now and we're going to put it into a bowl. It needs to rest for an hour. Thanks for getting the bowl. So we're going to put it in the bowl and we're going to let it rest for an hour and, and then we'll be back. Have to make another half. We're going to go be making the filling while that's resting, right Alex? <laughs> Alex has our pasta with <laughs> over. Now we're going to start making the filling for our pierogies. Yep, it's mashed potato filling. With so, butter, bacon, potatoes, salt, this. Pepper. Pepper. Then milk. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the ingredients. Now right. we're gonna make on the filtered potatoes and not turn them. I'm gonna hand them off to my brother. And what are you gonna do? I am gonna cut them in half and put them here so they boil evenly. Now we're gonna take the potatoes and we're gonna put um warm or cold, doesn't matter, water on the potatoes so we can get them cooking over on. I'm gonna carry them over to the stove and set them on. We have a small kitchen, so that's pretty easy. Yep. Turn that burner to medium, medium mm -hmm. high. Okay, we're gonna let those simmer for about 20 minutes and we'll be back. Now, we are gonna bake our bacon for the filling. Okay. Mom heated up a pan and Alex is gonna put the bacon in it. The pan might not be that yet, it's just getting hot. So just put it all in there, one piece at a time. And I flip. Sophie's gonna be flipping it. Okay, just lift them, and you want to be careful. Yep, so the grease gets hot. Yep, the grease gets really hot. And now, Sophie mm -hmm. is going to mash up these potatoes with her just hand masher. Yep, we're making the mashed potato filling, and the potatoes just got done. So the first thing we do is just sort of mash them with our masher to get them mostly mashed. So Sophie's going to mash them. Alex, while she's doing that, why don't you dump in a half a cup of milk? Here, Sophie, this will make it a little bit easier. Actually, Sophie, you can just quit mashing, because Alex is going to blend in a little bit. Okay. So just set that down, and then... Mm -hmm. Put in some butter. Four tablespoons of butter. Then Alex is going to add a, a dash of. Uh, I eat butter plain. You like butter plain? Yes. You're Pepper. crazy. Oh, here I do. Mm. You can you can always use the non grounded or the regular kind, but we have the grinding uh, different. So just grinding. put a grind of pepper in. If you like things peppery, you can add pepper, but Sophie just likes a little. And then an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Mm, that's good. Okay, Sophie, now because Sophie's going to grind the um, bacon, bacon in, right? Ho, ho. Oops. Okay, now you're going to crunch the bacon in. Here comes the salt, Soph. Okay, here we go. Okay, and we just add a little bit of salt because the bacon adds plenty of saltiness. And there's six, oh, yeah. there's six crunch, pieces of bacon. bacon. Yeah, Alex is going to help crunch it up. All right, now Alex is going to blend up the potatoes. Tip number ring, one, ring. always have the mixer ready in the bowl before turning it on. Otherwise, it can result in disastrous flying stuff, food flying across the kitchen. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, let's go. Now we're here and we're going to be, Aunt Annie is assisting, Alex and Soph are going to be making the pasta strips so we can cut out the pierogi circles. And this is the funnest part, so exciting! We have our handy handy pasta maker here, but if you don't have one, you could always use a rolling pin. That's how we used to do it before we had one. Yep. Alright guys, let's start rolling. First we start at the biggest one, we're going to go down to a size 7. Alright, so we're just going to keep running the pasta through. If, again, if you don't have a pasta ma machine, you just want to roll it out till I, I don't even know how to give you a whip, like a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. About a quarter to an eighth of an inch. I've done it before. Okay. Okay. So, all right, we'll be back. We'll when we start cutting.
Now we're cutting the circles for the pasta. You can okay. use your fancy circle cutter or a cup. We're just making circles. Alex is using a glass and Sophie's using the cutter. If you're using a glass or something, you could else. use the cookie you cutter might too. Yep, yeah, you could yeah. use a cookie cutter, any circular cutter. So we're just going to cut up the dough and then we then mm -hmm. after this the next step is the filling. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll be back. Here we go. Bye. Very nice. Good job. And we're making we're putting the filling in. We're basically making little progies that look like that. Yay. So we have our circles. Yep. And we circles that we make. So see what Sophie's doing? You take a little bit of the potato mixture and you put it right in the center. Yep. Mixture. And then what do you do, so? We fold it over. I thought we were going to fold it over. Yep. yep, you do. Sophie's Sophie's never actually helped make progies before. So this is like our actually, first time together. I have. You have. You've helped make the stuff, but never. And then you wet your finger. You wet the edges with your with some water. They have a glass of water here, so you dip your finger in. You can tell this is my first time making it. Yeah, he's making them too. No, I can use it. We have two ways of sealing them. Sorry, Sophie's sewing you one. And I'm gonna do okay. I did it this way. Okay, hold on. Aunt Danny used our handy dandy pampered chef tool to seal the edges. I did because I'm not so good at pushing it together by myself. And you can just pinch them together if you don't have a tool like and Sophie's doing. so cute. And you pinch them together so if you need a little bit more water on that side. Yeah, make sure you get enough water to seal. Otherwise you can use the pampered chef tool and it's just see this again is from pampered chef and it's got a little thing in there. I love it. And you just put it on the edge of the progy and you push it down. I would say get one of those. And it seals it. Yeah, me too. So you don't have to. I know you don't have to. All right, we're just going to continue making them. Yep. These are the progies, and we're going to boil them and eat them too. Tastes good when it's fine. Does butter taste good though? Yes. Okay, we're going to put the butter in the bowl. First, we have a bowl here. And then we're going to put the progies in the boiling water. And let them boil. I cannot get it off. Here, let's get a spoon out of the jar. Okay, and just put it in there, and that's just where the progies are going to go. We want butter in there when we're done. Okay, so now Sophie's going to take some of the progies, and she's just going to drop them in the water. Just take one at a time, when and drop them in there. Just drop them in the boiling water. Be careful. And you basically just boil them until they float to the top. Now it's time to take them out because they're starting to boil up to the top. Yep, so we're going to scoop them out carefully. And sometimes adults should do this, but Sophie's done it before, so she's pretty good at it. She's taken pasta out before. Be the and we just hot. put it in the bowl with the butter. And then you just keep on boiling up the whole batch until they're done. Right, so? Mm -hmm. We'll show them to everybody when they're finished, right? Mm -hmm. Here's our progies. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yay.